Okay, everyone, I just figured that I would come out here and do a video since it's been a while. So what I want to talk about here is people who try to be something for this world and how this is all interconnected with a programmed mind. It's all interlinked, even men and women that they are violent because they're insecure. You see, insecure people are violent people because insecure people have to act like they're tough for everyone to be accepted because of how insecure they are unto themselves. You see, they really know that they are just another human being that is flesh, blood, bone, and water, but they have to try to act like they are Zeus or Hercules or someone big, bad, and tough. They have to act like that because they're insecure. See, a, a person that knows themselves and knows that they don't have to try to be something for the world. They don't have to put on this everyday mask and facade and have to act like they're something they're not because they're trying to prove something to other people. You see, I am completely past the point of trying to be something for other people. I don't care about trying to be something that I'm not for other people because I'm not seeking the validation of people. If I would be seeking anything at all, it would be for other people to understand themselves and to respect themselves and to take an honest look at themselves and self-reflect. But see, we don't have enough of that in this world. And that's just one problem out of thousands of problems here which we can't get away from there's always going to be problems but yeah it's if you're trying to be something for people what you're doing is you don't even realize this a lot of you might not even realize this some of you might realize this all that you're doing when you're trying to to be something you're not you're desperate to try to show someone look at me look at what i'm doing ain't i special ain't i somebody ain't i something all that that is is the programmed mindset of what all of us have been programmed with all of these things like puppy love being in love all of this stuff is a program it's what people have programmed you to think that you need to have or else or you're not gonna live up to this standard of what the rest of society or what people places and things approve of and when you see that this all just leads you to a dead end you're not gonna find any fulfillment in it you're not gonna trying to live up to an identity or a persona or a reputation all that you're gonna do is you're gonna find yourself being more disappointed more let down more saying oh why doesn't anybody like me why won't anybody listen to me? Why can't I fit in here? Why don't I have this? Why isn't this happening? And the thing is, you're not truly accepting yourself. You're not truly accepting yourself. You're still trying to be something you're not for the world. And all of this comes from that you've been programmed to think if you don't do enough of something that you failed you're a failure you know men are programmed to think oh if you if you don't have a woman you're not a man 
you know, you, you can't take care of the family and you can't do all these things. If you understand this mentality and you understand how people, all of it comes down to this kind of, it, it's like a, uh, it's like a social kind of disease that people live by. They think that they have to be a certain way for people or they're not enough. I have to look like I'm this way for them. And if they don't like me, then, oh, I failed or, oh, I'm just not enough if they don't like me. This is how you can tell somebody that is still going by the programming in their mind. They're still not accepting the fact that they have been programmed and conditioned to think this way. You see, these things have been put on you since childhood and people have been bombarding you with this crap your whole life and you fell for it and you believed it and you created this reality around you that you have to be a certain way for people. And what I say is create your own world. But when you create your own world, be responsible to yourself. Respect yourself. What I say is you can be weird and you can be different, but don't be stupid and ignorant. See, there's a difference between being weird and different and then being stupid and ignorant. There's a huge difference between these things. There's a thin red line between these things. And all of this comes down to a lack of discernment, a lack of understanding, a lack of knowledge, people with no discipline, people with no standards. And this is another thing. I was wrong about some things and I was right about a lot of things, but this isn't really about being right and wrong overall. I just know that when I'm wrong about something, I will say that I was wrong in the way that I thought about it. But listen, when we're talking about standards, I have very, very, very high standards for myself as well as others but I know that I can't count on other people to have the standards that I have for myself I can't do that the moment that I expect somebody to live up to the standards uh, and what do I mean by standards a and this is another thing don't ever assume that people know what you know do not ever assume that people know what you know and don't just judge someone by their outside appearance see we're so quick to judge someone by their outside appearance and what they wear besides how they act what is their character how do they react to things in their life this is how you know how the person is thinking what the person is thinking how the person goes about dealing with things it all speaks to you in that way so this whole thing with having an expectation I can't expect anybody to have these standards that I have like standards of cleanliness you know when you go to the bathroom I expect you to clean up after yourself when you go to the bathroom if you get a bunch of toothpaste on the sink accidentally, clean it up. I expect that from someone. That is a standard that I have. If you take a number two in the bathroom and if you accidentally shit and shit splatters up somehow on a seat, I uh, expect you to clean that up after yourself. That is a standard that I have. Now there's a whole bunch of these that I can get into, but you, you get the drift of what I mean by standards. And there's too many people in this world, they don't have too many standards at all. Their standards are very low. Their standards are very weak and pathetic. And they don't, see here's the thing with this life. 
until you realize, until I realized that I was the stupid one, I was the ignorant one, I was the foolish one, I was the one that didn't understand, I was the one that was ignorant, I was the one that just assumed things, you see, I was the one that was projecting all of my stuff onto the world and I wasn't taking a look back at myself at one time. And this is what very few people in this world will ever do. They won't call themselves out. They won't reflect on themselves. You see, it all begins knowledge and understanding of how life and people and places and the how humans are and just everything. Until you admit to yourself that you are stupid, you are ignorant, you have been misled with these program things that we've been told, you have been lied to and fooled in almost every way you can imagine. But most of you out there, you're not willing to even get to that part of it. So that's why until you admit these things to yourself, until you admit that you're insecure, until you admit that you let fear lead your life, until you can admit that it's me that's causing all these things. I'm creating my own reality here. Until you do that for yourself, then nothing is going to change. You're not going to understand anything. You're not going to know things. You're just going to assume things and you're going to judge someone by their outside uh, look, their outside facade, their outside mask that they wear, the outside look of everybody. Now I'm going to give you an example here. Say that I come up to a guy, now who came to my mind was King Cobra JFS, the guy that has Asperger's. I like watching him sometimes. He's an interesting fella. Say that I come up to him, King Cobra JFS, and I see, I don't know him. I never met him before, and I see this guy, and he's dressed in all black. He got black lipstick on. He got black eyeliner on. He got a, a upside down cross with a Baphomet, and a choker chain on. I'm going to assume right away, I'm going to assume that this guy is gothic and more than likely he's a Satanist. That's what I'm going to say about his outside appearance. But then when you start talking to somebody and you start actually getting into conversation with them one on one, you start to realize that this is really just an outside look. It's just an outside theme that they're putting on for other people. And even though they wear those things, even though they portray themselves with these symbols and these labels and etc., etc., it's really, really, they, they might associate with those things, but that is just to show the outside world, this is what I kind of represent. This is what I kind of associate with. This is things that I want to show you to either leave me alone or to know that I'm this and not that. But see, you can't judge. You cannot judge someone just by the color of their skin or where they came from or what they're wearing or a symbol that they have on. Yes, that does say something about the person. It does. Like if you come up to someone and they're wearing a, I don't know, a rainbow, then you're going to assume that they're either gay or lesbian. You're going to assume that. But, but it doesn't mean that that person is wearing a rainbow because they like rainbows. They might not be gay or lesbian. You see what I'm saying? But right when you do that, this is what stupid people do. Stupid people judge the outside appearance 
without getting to know first they don't they don't ask questions they don't uh, they don't ask, they don't say well what if this or this they just automatically assume that they know something before they even know it and this is with a lot of us we just judge we criticize we blame we do all these things and we don't even realize as I speak I am literally creating my reality as I speak and if I want to I can bring it down I can calm down a little because when I do these talks for some reason I am very passionate with words I'm very passionate about what I say to people I'm very meticulous with how I want to come across for myself but yet I'm not making it so that I look like some perfectionist that I'm trying to be something for other people you see I am an ultimate contradiction I admit that I am a contradiction I am a conundrum I am everything and nothing all at the same time you see I am all things I am everything and I understand everything and see when you come across individuals that their knowledge is very low people are people that have low knowledge and understanding they are capable of some of the worst things in this world they're capable of atrocities they are what I'm saying is stupid and ignorant people are are they're insecure people do you understand what I'm saying and when you're insecure that means that you don't really know things you haven't even begun to call out the programming that you've been programmed with you see we're all programmed with this stuff ever since we're we come into this world ever since we're a little kid we're programmed to believe these things that we're led to believe or we're led to think that we have to be for other people and then we start trying to be these things for other people and then what happens other people let us down because there is no such thing as trying to be something for someone you see that's why you're not accepted that's why you're 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 insecure it's why you have these things that you have because you're not realizing that a lot of this stuff it doesn't even exist it is a lie that was put in your head a long time ago and you have been relating to that for so long you have been living by that you have been believing those things and then you wonder why you keep getting upset with yourself you wonder why if you do something that doesn't work out you say oh I'm a failure I didn't do good enough I didn't prove myself to them and over time when you just keep seeing this over and over and over as a person you would think that people would get it through their heads that this whole thing is a game that you're playing with yourself you're literally playing mind games with yourself you're creating the very thing your programmed mind is creating the problems that you have for yourself and until you can see that until you can understand these things until you look into everything for yourself then until you are self-reflecting and but first off though here's the thing you have got to be willing to call yourself out on your shit you have got to be willing to say that it is me that is the problem here I am creating these things you have to be willing to say I am the stupid one I am the ignorant one I am the one that doesn't understand and then I just assume because I don't understand because 
I think that, oh, this person thinks that they're better because they actually know and you don't know, then you get mad at them for knowing because you're that insecure because you won't look back at yourself on these things. And you don't understand if there is any such thing as some peace of mind, if there is any such thing as knowing for yourself and not trying to be anything for this world. You give up on that. You just say, look, I'm done. I'm not trying to be nothing for anybody. I'm not comparing myself to anybody. I'm not in a competition with other men out here to say, look, I'm the bigger, tougher guy. I got these big biceps and my hair's done a certain way and look what I'm wearing and look at all these things I can do. This is what men that are insecure do. They have to put up this front that there's some way that they're really not. And all along, <laughs> I'm telling you the ultimate answer for most of your problems, but most of you will not listen. You're still chasing the stupidity. You're still chasing the programming. You're still chasing an image of yourself that you're trying to live up to because they told you that you have to live up to that thing. And you just believed it. You just took it gullibly, naively, and said, yes, that's what I'm gonna be for them. And all along, you lost yourself. You lost you being you, creating your own world, but knowing these things first. See, if you don't know this first, then you're still going to be creating a false reality for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're still going to be saying, I got to be this. I've got to act this way. I got to live up to this image. I got to show them that I'm enough. And all along, you're just chasing your tail. You're running after people. You're running after women or men. Men's running after women. Women are running after men. And we're like chickens with our heads cut off because we're not using our mind. We're not using our understanding because there's nobody teaching understanding. There's nobody telling you about these things. See, here, here's the thing. Let me tell all of you something. You have got to offend people. You have got to confront people. And you have got to stop enabling people to keep doing the same stupid, dumb, unintelligent, ignorant, insane shit that they're doing if there's nobody calling it out then nobody's gonna know about it if you don't call out another person then they're not gonna know about it you can't just keep telling people what you think they want to hear because if you're doing that then what are you doing you're lying to yourself you're trying to live up to this image for other people. And all along, you're just bullshitting yourself. You're bullshitting them. You're lying to each other. You're putting on this facade. You're putting on this outside appearance. You're wearing the symbols. You're wearing the clothes. You're, you're driving the cars and all this. But on the inside, you know. <laughs> you know that it's all a show. You know that it's fake. You know that it's not real, but yet you keep doing it for people over and over and over again. And until you stop and think about what you're doing and say, who am I doing this for? What is the ultimate thing that's going to happen with me doing this for other people? What's going to come of it? Who are you going to become? What you're going to become is something not like yourself. You're going to become the false image of yourself. And this is why I say fucking idol. Screw looking up to men as idols. This is the mistake that we're all making. Don't look at a man like you're looking up to him. Look at him if you really understand that man, like if you understand me, and even if you're jealous of me, that's okay. 
don't let it turn into a seed of envy though that is when it it becomes hatred and it becomes something bad if you like me then want to live want to live similar to me if if you have a like-mindedness then say that's someone that i want to be like because his standards are like my standards the way he wants to live is the way i want to live the things he talks about is the things i know for myself you see but how many people today can really say that about someone else and really truly understand themselves while they're saying that about the other person it can't just be you're looking up to a brother or you're looking up to someone and saying i idolize them i want to be like them no you look at them like this mikasa sukasa like i'm a human you're a human you're not better i'm not better you're not worse i'm not worse we're just doing what we need to do to survive as best as we can while we're here and as long as you're being responsible as long as you're not comparing yourself to other people as long as you're not being a complete stupid ignorant idiot then you can be weird and you can be different and you can create your own world as long as you're not hurting anybody as long as your moral compass comes into play with everything you do and then you can do anything you want to do as long as you're not hurting anybody as long as you're not raping anyone as long as you're not stealing from anyone as long as you're not lying to people you can do whatever you want to do you know what is right and wrong you know what is wrong and right but see the wrong and right right thing is just a reminder for you to understand for yourself what you are doing at that time that you are doing the thing that you're doing and yes I am somebody I put knowledge logical thinking being weird in your own way being a rebel towards uh, people that just conform to anything that are just gullible about everything that are naive to things I am someone I condone those things I condone you to be different I condone you that you are yourself through and through but don't be stupid while you're doing it don't be an ignorant idiot asshole while you're doing it you see, don't be like everybody else thinking you got to follow the trends because they're popular. And I got to do this thing because my friend Jeremiah does it, so I got to follow him. And you know, you know deep inside of you that it's something stupid. It's something that you're just doing to get this clout and attention from people. And it's really not you deep down inside. And then if you don't have another brother like me to tell you and correct you from your stupid thinking and your unintelligence and your ignorance and your stupidity and your insecurity see it's only people that are not willing to understand themselves that will call you names that will call you petty immature names because that's showing you how they are themselves you see if you call people names and you're immature that's gonna show when you act out upon that thing it's going to show and I know as well as how you should know if you're someone that is really with what I'm saying and this isn't a competition this is not to say that I'm better than anybody this is not to say that that uh, I'm somehow above you because I know these things because I'm not I am just another flesh blood and bone human guy like you I am no different in that way but yes, I am different in so many other ways. I am different because I talk different, I look different, I act different, I think different. I create my own world. I create my own path. I dig my own hole to go into if I dig that hole for myself. 
Nobody digs that hole but me. If I get into a dark, deep, dark place, then that's either my mind playing tricks on me or I created that. I did that to myself. You see, most of y'all, you don't even realize you are literally creating yourself being a negative person. You are literally creating a lot of your torment, a lot of your pain, a lot of your misery, a lot of your this insecurity and fear that you have. You're creating that because you don't want to confront that and then you wonder why these things keep happening to you because you won't confront it. You won't face it because you're letting fear and you're letting misunderstanding guide your path in everything you're doing. And then what do you do? You blame everybody else. You criticize them. You point the finger at them. You see, this is where you really need to call out your own hypocrisies. If you're not willing to call your own hypocrisies out, then this channel, <laughs> See, what this channel will bring, more than likely, it will bring a whole lot of trolls that are not willing to understand themselves. They're not willing to acknowledge that they are it. They are the ones that are creating these things from what they've been programmed to think. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I don't care if those kinds of people or people that are listening or people that are actually calling themselves out or weird people. I don't care who is here because I'm not judging anybody because we are all humans on this watery, muddy, uh, you know, rock with trees and people and places and things. And we can't escape that. But when one understands, when one understands these things, you have no choice but to change the way you think. See, you're not going to, you're going to be continually evolving into, you're gonna, you're gonna have these realizations over and over again like I did. You're gonna say, oh, I came to this realization. I just realized this for myself today. I realized that I was causing this. I realized that this was happening to me because of this. I realized that if I do this, this happens. I realized, I realized, you just keep coming to these realizations over and over and over and you keep questioning things. You are skeptical of everything. You don't take anything at face value. You dig deep into everything. And there comes a time where when you do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, you finally come to this, this place in your, in your nowness where you stop and you go, now I understand why now I'm not the one questioning I'm not the one acting out in a certain way because I've already did it so many times to myself you see and then you kind of say you know what there's no reason to fight there's no reason to compare myself to another man or, or a woman. There's no reason for me to be envious of anybody. Yes, I'm jealous of people. There is nothing wrong with being jealous of people. Jealousy is not a bad thing. Jealousy is actually a good thing because the person you are jealous of, that is telling you everything. If you are jealous of them, that means that you like something about them. There's something about them that you can't get enough of. There's something about them them that you are learning from there's something about them that you are in all of or you can't get enough of and you're like I want that for myself and that's a good thing that's a great thing that we have here but yet most of us use it in a bad way we use it in the opposite way of what it really should be used for the benefit and the well-being of us all you see we use it in the opposite way we don't say yeah 
you made this instrumental and I'm jealous of it. Just say that. I'll say, oh, you know, you did this. I'm jealous of that because I want to do something similar and I really like that. See, I'm not going to let my jealousy turn into a seed of envy for somebody and say, I'm going to hate them for no reason. I'm just going to hate them because of how they look or how they talk. And look, I know we all have our pet peeves, but it's once you let that seed grow in you, what you've done is you did not check yourself. You did not you were not willing to look back at yourself for why you felt that way, how you let that come about. This is all about checking yourself. This is all about having respect for yourself and checking yourself and being willing to call yourself out on all of your own bullshit, all of your everything you do, everything you say, the reason why you respond the way you do, why you act the way you do, why you talk the way you do, why you walk the way you do, why you draw and chalk the way you do, why you do everything you do, you're willing to take responsibility for all of it, not just some of it, not a little bit of it, all of it across the whole spectrum. And then that is when you are a man or a woman that is ready to be in the same space as someone like me because you have been looking into things. You have been observing things. You have been looking back at yourself every day. You have been self-reflecting every day. You have been taking an honest look into everything. You have not been just assuming things. You have not just said, oh yeah, this person's like this because I think they're like this. Or, oh, they dress this way so that's the way they are. No, see, you don't know anything about that person. You never even spoke to the person, but yet you're judging them because of what they wear or because they look a certain way or whatever. That is, that is the ultimate immaturity and pettiness and insecurity on the person's part that does not want to call themselves out for why they're seeing it like that. You understand what I'm saying here? And I know there's always going to be there's always going to be one person that for some reason wants to cause ruckus and destruction and they just, they don't want to look back at themselves. So therefore they start blaming someone else. They start criticizing someone else. They start to take, they, they start to project everything that's going on in their life that they will not deal with, that they will not take an honest look at, and they start projecting everything. They project, they project all their negativity. They project everything that they're creating. They project every little flaw that they think they have because they've been programmed to think that they have a flaw that more than likely it's not a flaw. It's just something that you are thinking that you have to be for other people. And therefore, you try to be something you're not and you keep doing that over and over again. And it just, it persists. And this is why a lack of understanding destroys the people. It's, th this stuff is like, it's common sense, but yet it's almost like certain people don't even want to accept common sense. They want to stay in denial of little common sense things, you know, and you can't do, you can't do anything about it. If somebody doesn't want to know, they're not going to know. If somebody doesn't want to understand, they're not going to understand. You know, whatever people do, that's their own choice. That's their own decision. There ain't nothing. I'm absolutely powerless to make anybody understand any of what I'm saying. I'm just saying because I have enough respect for myself to let another person know what I know. I'm just telling you because I actually do care for myself while I'm here. I know that I'm just like everybody else. I'm going to die one day. I'm getting older as the days go. 
uh, I shit. I, if I don't get a shower, I get shit stains, just like the rest of you. If I'm eating bad food, I get sick, just like the rest of you. You know, if I'm not taking a look at myself, I can do something stupid, just like the rest of you. I'm no different, but yet again, I am different. You see, that is the contradiction going on here. That is the epitome of a paradox and a conundrum is that even when I'm feeling better about myself I know that there's going to be a day where I'm not feeling as good about myself and then I'm gonna have to talk about how I feel and then it's not going to be such a positive video you see and it's always gonna be going every, even as long as I'm alive, this is how it's going to be. And all that matters, all that really matters here is that you're responsible for yourself. All that matters here is that you are creating your own world because nobody can live your life. You can't live another person's life. You can't control another person. You can't tell another person what to think and how to be and how to react. You can only do that for yourself in the end. You have to come to an understanding that it is you. It is you. You are the one that causes every problem and you are the one that takes a look at all of the things that is going on in your life. And you are the one that sorts it out because you've created it. And that's just the way that it is. So this is just a little bit of how, why we are so insecure as people and why we're trying to be something for other people all the time. This is why we do a lot of the dumb things we do, a lot of the stupid things we do. And this is why men are violent men because a violent man is an insecure man always remember this a violent man is an insecure man unless that man has some kind of brain malfunction or has some kind of brain abnormality why they're violent it's because they are not willing to see that the reason they're being violent is because of their insecurity it's because they won't see that they are <laughs> a human they are something that breaks and can bend and can get old and is fragile they're not they're portraying something that they're not because you've been taught that oh there's these gods zeus and hercules and you can be this big you can be this big strong guy and you can take over the world and all this bullshit it's a lot of it is just simply a delusion in the minds of those who don't want to admit that it's a delusion and this is why you have violent men because they're trying to act like they're tough they want you to think of them as being this tough person because they think that that's going to somehow increase their pride and their ego and sense of I'm more than, I'm bigger than, I know more than you, I'm bigger than you, I can squish you. And this comes out of pure ignorance of not understanding that all that's ever going to lead to is you, like I said before, all that this mindset is going to lead to you trying to be a big tough guy because you're so insecure because you won't admit you are because of all the things you've been programmed with all that it's going to lead to is a blood soaked throne with the words in blood p r i d e across your forehead and you're going to be looking at everybody around you slaughtered dead just nothing because your pride and your ego said that you were something big and all you're gonna do you're, you'll end up by yourself you'll it's all that it is it is just actually bloodlust if you want to be honest and if that doesn't somehow sicken you as a person 
if that doesn't somehow make you kind of cringe or look at yourself and say, well, I'm done with the whole uh, pointing guns and videos and uh, talking like I'm such a violent guy and acting like I'm so big and bad. You'll see that it's it's immature. It's immaturity. It's it's childish. It's it's so. I don't even know the word to say. It's so immature to be like that. It is it is a lack of understanding of what you're really doing to yourself because you want to make this prideful name for yourself. You want to look like you're so much bigger than everybody else. And all you do is you create this world around you where all it is is bloodshed, violence, destruction, killing another man in the name of this stupid bullshit. And it just, it, it, this is the minds of some of the youth out here because this is the metaphorical demon that is going around in every town in the United States. Everybody's playing this shit in their car and they're hypnotized. They're hypnotized, hypnotized minds. Just like uh, Three Six Mafia hypnotized minds. They're hypnotized. They're even telling you that you're hypnotized. And you still fall for it. <laughs> you are literally under a spell that you don't even realize you're under. You're under a spell of ignorance. You're under a spell of just being that way because you're so insecure about what you really are. And you don't want to be what you really are. Why do you not want to be what you really are? Why do you not want to be the person you really truly are? See, that is just when someone's like that, you have to understand if we're talking about something like spiritual warfare metaphorically, is there really spiritual warfare going on? I don't know. But if you want to say spiritual warfare metaphorically, all that this is it is a lack of discernment. It is because someone never confronted the people that are doing these things and acting out in this way in ignorance. They've never been called out on it. They've never been around people to show them, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. If you do this, this is going to happen. If you don't see this, this is what's going to happen. See, they have nobody confronting them. They have nobody teaching them. They have nobody that is willing to offend their stupidity. There's no one that's willing to offend their insecurity. There's no one willing to offend them at all and to stop enabling them to be stupid, violent, ignorant idiots. Therefore, they keep being that because there's nobody that comes along and goes, hey, is this a good idea? Is this really a good idea for all of us to be shooting each other and killing each other? What is this going to do? Just so you can get some murderous name for yourself? So you can have a murderous name. So you can be on the Murder Inc.'s list of knowing of being a murderer. Oh, good for you. You're a murderer today. Good for you. I give you the plaque of being a murderer. You murdered your blood. You murdered your brother in cold blood. Good for you. Here's a handshake and a plaque for you for murdering people. Here's a, here's a plaque for your music talking about shooting someone in cold blood. Hang that plaque on your wall. Be proud of that plaque because you murdered someone. And then there's no shame. There's no shame in their eyes. There's no shame in their brain. There's no shame in anything they do. And then they do this stupid shit too. But I'm not saying if you're weird, don't be ashamed because you're weird. See, if you're weird and different, don't be ashamed of that. Be ashamed if you're stupid and ignorant. If you're so insecure that you're a violent person because you're that insecure. That is where I draw the line. That is where the line gets drawn for me from total irrational behavior, stupidity, ignorance, uh, uh, no no thinking of another human life because you want to have a murderous name for yourself. See, this is where I draw the line. But if you're weird, different, 
but you're responsible for what you're doing, I have no problem with those things. You see, there's got, you've got to have a standard for yourself. You have got to have a standard. And a lot of these people that I hear listening to this music and blaring it in their car, I know that they have no moral standards. They have no standards for themselves in life. They don't even respect themselves. That's why they listen to this junk, because they don't respect themselves. Don't you get it? If you respect yourself, you're not going to talk about killing another man. If you respect yourself, you're not going to want to cause unnecessary violence. If you respect yourself, the only thing that you will have even close to violence is self-defense if somebody's bringing that bullcrap to you. Then you have self-defense. You see, listen, this all comes down to being knowledgeable and understanding things. And the more you understand and the more you know, the more you will see how dumb you really were like I had to. You'll see how stupid you really were, how ignorant you really were, how unintelligent you really were. And you'll just, you'll, you'll just wake up from the slumber and go, my goodness, what, what was I doing? What, what was I thinking? What you were thinking and what you were doing is the things that you've been programmed with by these famous people that other ignorant people put in the power to teach you that thing. Do you see? And you just believed it. You just went by it. You looked up to it like it was something cool when all it was was a murderous throne with the words pride on it and you're looking up to that in blood. That's all it is. That's all it is at the end of the whole scenario and situation. And then you, you wonder these guys, when they get caught doing these things, they need to sit down with somebody that has common sense, someone that has the knowledge and understanding, someone who has been there and understands it. Then they have to be taught and told these things because there was no one there to show them anything. There was no one there to call them out on it. There was no one there to offend their stupidity. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why I do this online. I do this on the internet. I do this late at night by myself because I don't really have to talk to someone face to face. I can do it online. Now, does that make me a coward? Maybe it does make me a, a little more of a coward because I don't tell people to their faces, but yet I'm risking my life by telling someone else the brutal, honest truth. And am I willing to do that? Am I willing to risk my life by telling someone that doesn't understand something for themselves Am I going to go out and do that for one person, for them to understand what they can understand in a video of me talking to them? All that I can hope is that you understand what I'm saying. That's all I can hope from the bottom of my metaphorical heart and soul. If I have such a thing, I just, I just want you to get this. You know, if you're someone that you put this into movies or uh, I don't know, TV shows. I don't care about that. That's not reality. That is virtual reality. That is entertainment. That is a movie. That is fiction. You know, there's a difference when you're putting your rage or anger or something like that into a movie or a show or some other thing where you're not doing it in reality. I don't care for that. I, 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 don't, I don't condone it, but I don't condemn it. People can do that. That's cool because you're not actually harming another person. You're not actually killing someone else. You're not actually uh, doing something to another person that they might not want done to them. So that's, I, I don't have a problem with that. But just don't bring it over into reality. Reality is a whole other thing. You know, because would you want these things done to you it is basically, I mean, it's just common sense. And, and now I don't want to keep talking because 
I got my point across, you know, I said what I needed to say and what needed to say has been said and I let it rest at that. So if anybody out there, you're going to see further on in life that your understanding is all that you're going to have at the end of the day. At the end of the day, all you're going to have is your own self-respect is your own health and your own understanding of the world people places and things that's all you're gonna have at the end of the day it doesn't matter what joe tina uh marie tim whoever it doesn't matter what other people are doing it matters what are you doing with your life what are you thinking what are you watching what are you saying how are you reacting all those things your life is literally a an exam to see how you are testing on the things that you're doing for yourself and with that i spoke my mind if any of you would like to help support me in any way please help donate to the channel it helps you know it helps another human being like myself if i had more to give i'd give more if i had to give because when when the time is right things will happen how they're supposed to if you let things be the way that they're really supposed to be you know when you have an understanding of things so anyway with that i haven't done a video for a while i still feel like kind of chattering because this subject it goes a lot deeper than what i'm telling you on here it's a lot deeper because i know for me i have had to repeat these things so much i had to literally reflect on myself so many times to understand some of these things because the programmed mind is like a brick wall it just doesn't get through to some people you ju it just doesn't matter you can say these things over and over and over i know for myself how this is you can speak things over and over and you can be sincere as ever and you can know that what you're saying is the brutal honest truth and people will still refuse to acknowledge it for themselves they will still be in denial of certain things in their life and then they keep wondering how these things keep happening because they keep believing the programming they keep going by what some guy that talks about gangster music told them so now they want to be a gangster and they want to do all these things and and that's just one example i'm giving you but that is an example saying about how we do these ignorant things and then we wonder how ignorant things happen because we are the ones that allowed ignorance to take over and we didn't do anything to confront it we didn't do anything to talk about it we didn't even sit down and discuss anything about it because that's how we are sometimes because this is what our pride does this is what this this false reality does we're trying to be something that we're really not we're trying to put on this thing for people that we really know deep down inside it's really not us when we're in a room by ourselves and we close the door and we go in the closet we know that that's not us but yet we still do these things we still try to be something we're not for the world we still do dumb shit in the name of look at me ain't i more than ain't i better than you know look how how much more i'm doing than these people and it's all it's all immaturity it's an immature mind that doesn't have knowledge or understanding and this means everything knowledge and understanding are everything for the individual person because it's all about the individual person respecting themselves and reflecting on themselves at the end of the day that is all that matters now if you think that i matter as a person if you think that i matter as a speaker if you think that what I'm saying here today is the brutal honest truth and it's common sense and it's something that you've learned something 
then help support the channel because when you do that that's telling me that you want to be like me and there's nothing wrong with that because I look for other people to be like but I don't want to I don't want to copy you I don't want to copy people I want to be my own individual but I want to learn from others I want to uh, be able to relate to something they're saying. You see, I want to be similar to some things, but not exactly like, because I'll never be exactly like another person. So I'm not trying to be that, you see? And I know this all sounds so cliche. It sounds like, it sounds like such common sense that people go, I already know this, but do you really know it though? Do you really know it? <laughs> See, that's the question. Do you really honestly know it? Because if you walk outside your door and you're wearing something just to show off for another person, you don't know it. If you walk outside of your door and you go around people and you're trying to be something, you don't know it. If you are still in this mindset of, I'm not enough, I failed. I haven't done what I wanted to do. I, I, I just can't seem to get this right for these people. You're, you're still going by the programming of social programming. You're still going by the programming that you think you have to be socially and you don't have to be that way. You see, there, there will be a time where you will say, my goodness, I was being so fake with myself. I was putting on, I was so freaking phony, I was lying to myself. There's going to be a time where when that comes, if you're not willing to be honest, you're going to pass up the only thing that matters for you. The only thing that matters for you is that you're brutally honest with yourself. That's, that, that's all that matters at the end of the day is that I'm brutally honest with number one. And those who are brutally honest as well will support me as a person. Do you understand? I don't need to beg people. They will support me as a person because they know that I'm not lying to them. They know that I'm not bullshitting them. They know that I'm not in some delusional world where I'm uh, talking about bullshit that doesn't matter, that nobody cares about, that nobody's going to do anything to change anything, nobody learned anything. See, I'm not in that paradigm anymore. I'm on a completely different paradigm. And if you're on that different paradigm with me, support me. Because that's what we need to do with each other. We need to support this thing. If we don't support this thing, then we have nothing here. And I don't know what to call this. I just call it being brutally honest with myself. That's what I call it. It ain't no label. It's just like I said, the circle of black and white of everything. That's what it is. It's just me calling everything out and being honest with everything. So if you got this far in the video, thank yourself. Don't do it in a cocky, prideful way, but respect yourself for it that you got this far in the video because you're actually listening to the truth. You're actually listening to something that is going to help you along. You're listening to something that actually does matter for you while you're on this planet. So with that, I'm going to let everybody go. Thanks for watching. But yet again, it all comes down to you in the end. It doesn't matter what I think of you. It doesn't matter what you think of me. It all comes down to what do you think of yourself? What are your standards? You see what I'm saying? Are you brutally honest with yourself? That's what matters here. And those things do matter. You know, you finding success, that's not going to make you happy. Success is not going to make you happy. Being honest with yourself is what is going to fulfill the aspect that feels empty, but at the end of the day, you, you filled that by being honest. You can't do anything else. There's nothing else you can do. If you were honest with yourself, then that's you should be able to sleep at night.
You should be able to just say what you say because you're being honest. You don't hold back. You're not holding your tongue because your tongue knows what it's saying. It understands what it's saying. Do you know that for yourself? That's the most important thing at the end of the day is your own solitude and your own knowledge, your own discipline, your own high standards. Have high standards for yourself because the lower your standards are, that's the more that you're going to allow yourself to step on other people and for you to get stepped on and for you to be stupid, for you to be ignorant, for you to not know anything, for you to be insecure about stuff, for you to not understand that you're more than likely still going by the program mentality. This is what low standards do. You're not willing to learn anything. You got to wake up. You got to wake up, y'all. You got to wake up out of the slumber because a lot of this world is in a slumber. Just put it that way. And don't use this awakened, I'm awake or awoken term. That, that, is, that is for people that are not understanding what I'm even saying. You won't even say those words anymore. You will just know that you know that you know and you don't need to really question, but you're reminded because your own brain reminds you of these things. It's all about you self-reflecting. Everything you project on the other people, you project back onto yourself. Everything you think of other people, you project back onto yourself. Every hypocrisy, every contradiction, every single little irony, every thing that you think is bad or wrong or right or whatever, it doesn't matter. You're constantly reflecting that back onto yourself. Everything that you project on the other people, you're projecting back onto you. And that is the best you can do here. And if we would all do that, if we would all do that, just think of how different this world would be if we did that. 